a pleasure to me all at last. Welcome back to the channel yet again. And more importantly, welcome back to Survival of No Limits. Probably even more importantly than that, welcome to episode number 53, which, of course, is going to be talking about mine shafts. Yeah, kind of rhymes with Minecraft, but other than, well, that being a bit of a connection in a way, a real life mine shaft is, in fact, a pretty dangerous situation. What it has to do with survival is basically a mine shaft could be your imminent doom. And there are in fact a lot of places where miners used to roam around in certain places like caves, crevices, and gigantic networks of naturally made tunnels that had probably been made because of the combination of weathering and erosion or possibly volcanic activity and many other contributing factors. But aside from that, the usual sport of spelunking, as I've said before, it could in fact be more dangerous than you think. When it comes to mine shafts, that is in fact one considerable example that you might actually want to hear about. Because it's something out there that not too many people are familiar with. So that's pretty much why we're here today. Talking a little bit about mine shafts for episode number 53. So Basically, mine shafts are in fact something that could come up unexpectedly because either they had been covered up improperly or because the structural integrity of the doors that lead to them might have broken up at some point, possibly due to age or some other factor, or maybe it could be something different as a prank or otherwise. No, no matter what the case though, Falling down a mine shaft would probably be one of the most horrifying things ever. As I've mentioned before, in terms of caves, they are a bit random most of the time. But it does seem that to this day, we still do have a lot of things out there relating to caves, glaciers and the like, crevices of all sorts throughout the world. We have a lot of them that seem accurately mapped. In terms of distance and in terms of how high these things can go, a lot of times, in terms of mine shafts, they come up unexpectedly. And in terms of how the falls go, then well, there's little you could do about it. Maybe unless you were very skilled at stopping your falls by using a climbing axe or maybe a piton or some sorts, or maybe something else entirely. You could try to do whatever you could to break your fall with it, but depending on the distance, from the surface all the way down to the very bottom of the shaft itself, it could prove to be deadly most of the time. Or, at the very least, it could prove to break both your legs to cushion your fall, basically. As most of the time, they can be very deep. In Suffolk, England, for example, there's a mine shaft that happens to be extremely high most of the time. But again, Depending on the location that these mines are in, it can be common to find ones that are very deep. But again, they can be unexpected. And falling down one would be very, very critical. Mostly depending on the height of one of them. So, of course, that's just what that's all about. And, well, next time you find one of them, then, well, be sure to let me know right away. Because now, I guess it's time to move on to some other subjects here. So, if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.